Welcome to another episode of Shipper War. Shipper War. When ship happens, I'm there. First news is coming out of the U Reviewer Awards. For those who aren't aware of what this is, here it is. The U Reviewer Awards is an award show by the people for the people created by the Schmoes Knows and Jeremy John. And it's an award show that takes place here on YouTube. And it's going to be taking place this week. It's going to start on February 15th through the 18th, and it's going to be featured on ENTV. So if you're not subscribed to that channel, I suggest you subscribe to them now. I posted a link right here. Click it, subscribe to it. Once the award show comes on, make sure you comment, watch, share with your friends, do all the good stuff that you need to do to spread the word about this award show because this is something that these people worked very, very hard on doing. And I admire that very much. So if you can, just spread the word as much as you can. All right? Good. Now, the first movie news is coming out of Warm Bodies, the movie about a zombie that falls in love with a human and a human that falls in love with a zombie. Well, it's been announced that the film has been pushed back to February 1st of 2013 when originally it was supposed to be released this year in August. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. For whatever reason, I see it as a bad thing because one, pushbacks are sometimes never a good thing. And two, that just means I have to wait longer to see this film that's so bizarre, but yet I want to watch it. Now, for those who didn't go to Target, this past Friday to go see the exclusive Breaking Dawn Part 2 clip. Well, the clip is on YouTube, of course. And I have to say, after watching this clip, Bella looks more alive as a vampire than she ever did as a human. Now, carry on with the Breaking Dawn Part 2 theme. So, it's been announced that Breaking Dawn Part 2, the trailer, is actually going to be attached to The Hunger Games. So the first TV spot for Mirror Mirror has been released and I watched it and still this movie hasn't been sold to me. It still looks very campy and goofy and just very cheap. Now here's a movie I'm looking forward to. John Carter, seven images from the film has been released online. And the more I see of this film, the more I end up wanting to see it because it looks like something that's going to be either a hit or miss. But I'm keeping my fingers crossed that is a hit. And the last movie news is coming out of Yahoo Movies. They actually posted a list of the do's and don'ts for romantic comedies. And the trailers to come out this week, the first one is The Amazing Spider-Man, the second trailer to The Amazing Spider-Man, which I did watch and I have to say I felt absolutely nothing after watching it. I felt very indifferent towards it, which means I'll most likely go see it and most likely end up liking it. Second trailer to come out is Seeking a Friend at the End of the World, starring Kara Knightley and Steve Carell. And I have to say, this movie looks hilarious and just really good. It looks like a really good, fun film, which I'm personally looking forward to. So check out those trailers if you haven't already. And the Shippernist movie to come out this weekend is The Vow, which came in at number one with $42 million, which is incredible. Awesome for it. Congratulations, The Vow. I did see the movie and I did review it. You can check it out right here. So that is all for this episode of Ship of War. Goodbye and until next time.